Keith Porteous Wood is the president of the National Secular Society and joins us live now from London. Keith, it's, uh, thank you so much for coming on to this program. Uh, now, you compiled submissions to the inquiry, so you've had quite a direct involvement into this report. And this report is incredibly shocking, this systemic abuse for more than 70 decades. How has the Catholic Church in France been allowed to get away with this and the perpetrators of this abuse been allowed to stay out of jail? Well, it's a very uh, shocking story that despite France being a secular country, uh, that the clerics appear to be above the law. There is mandatory reporting law, which is not very good, but it isn't being enforced at all. Uh, and that is to France's shame when we now know that there are a third of a million of Catholic uh, children who have been subject to this abuse, and that's a minimum. Uh, so, uh, above all, uh, the law wants uh, changing very severely uh, and also to be applied equally to everyone, whether they're clerics or not. Uh, then there's the Vatican. The Vatican was told by the UN Committee for the Rights of the Child in 2014. It was urged to make it mandatory for such abuse to be reported to civil authorities. The Pope's made several uh, attempts to do so, but very unconvincing ones. And in, in, even now, he hasn't done so. He absolutely must make that mandatory to report externally, not just internally. Then we come to the French bishops uh, and their attitude, even while this report was being compiled, is dreadful beyond belief. They've evaded the slightest responsibility for sexual clerical abuse that was proven. The bishops are seeking to avoid paying all but the most small sums to victims. Uh, which they can't even bring to call uh, themselves to call compensation. Uh, and often when they do that, it's in exchange for an agreement not to take any legal action. Um, and they even had the temerity, given the huge wealth of the church, for that sum to be dependent on what they could raise from the public by donations. Uh, and the bishops are looking the other way while there's a climate of fear uh, in the Catholic Church that's still to this day dissu dissuading victims from coming forward. I found a young seminarian recently who quit after fresher following his complaint against an archbishop mm -hmm. and nobody stepped in. It's just incredibly frightening that a const a, an institution where people are meant to go and feel safe, especially young children, where we found from this report that most of uh, the victims and survivors were boys aged between the ages of 10 and 13. And we know that when it comes to cases of sexual abuse, it is uh, boys are less likely to come forward uh, than girls or, or women. What does this report mean for the victims and survivors uh, of the abuse by uh, the French uh, uh, Catholic Church? Well, there's a terrible problem that the statute of limitations on this uh, uh, is very much uh, uh, too short. So, so many of these cases are going to escape being going before the civil courts, and that's a catastrophe because the church cannot be uh, trusted to deal fairly with victims in this way, despite, as I said, its absolutely enormous wealth. Uh, I, I was very struck that uh, the chair of this commission and some of his colleagues who uh, were listening to the testimonies of victims for many months actually had to seek psychological help. So awful was the testimony that was given by, by victims. And this must be a, a priority for the French state to step in and, and have a parliamentary inquiry, an independent one. This wasn't really independent. This was commissioned by the church. There must be a proper inquiry that is also has within its remit the uh, possibility of what the state must do, particularly over mandatory reporting and the dreadful uh, attitude of the French judiciary uh, and prosecuting authorities uh, to giving to, to let uh, uh, priests off 
from, mm -hmm. from, from this kind of thing. The Cardinal Archbishop of Lyon recently stepped down, was aware of a man who abused 4,000 scouts. And although he was convicted recently, subsequent courts managed to squash that, that conviction. That sent a terrible, terrible mm -hmm. signal. And that man, just to conclude, that man who abused 4,000 uh, young scouts was, uh, as a, despite being sentenced, has escaped spending even a day in jail. Yeah, no justice there for his uh, victims. Keith Porteous would really appreciate, appreciate your insight. Thank you so much for speaking to us.